All right, Walter, to answer your question, what is a conchal valve? What's my thoughts about it? Conchal valve is a much more complicated type of air relief valve as we have it on our, uh, compared to what we have on our truck mount. Our truck mount basically comes with a, a two inch close nipple stainless steel with a laser cut type of uh, opening. If you can bring the camera around here, son, over here to the front. Now, as the suction builds up, it all depends how tense this, vac uh, this uh, spring is. It allows some type of relief, some type of air to start getting into the box with your manifold going down to the blower, relief, the, um, relief some of the pressure, some of the negative pressure off the blower. That way you don't have constant pressure build up to the point that the blower is gonna overheat. Uh, as you know, as the atmospheric uh, pressure drops, the temperature rises. So having this incorrectly designed or incorrectly installed causes the air inside of the blower gets so heated to the point that of course the temperature is gonna move into the shaft causing uh, your quadruplex, let's say on this design, to start getting hot, the connection between the engine and blower, or in the case of your design, which is the belt drive marine, your belt starts slipping and start getting hot. But let's go to the table and see how the conco valve works. Again, like I said, it's just a fancy uh, parts which does the same thing as a simple piece that we build for our machines. Now, what is a conco valve? A conco valve consists of a few sections. You do have this top section that houses a spring, which is locked in right behind this nut right here. And of course, right next to it, you do have a chamber which is precisionly machined to give it almost, almost zero tolerance between the two housing for this plate to be able to move back and forth. So, if you notice, the valve moves up. So, how does it work? If you look on here, there is an arrow. This is where the air gets sucked into the blower. Okay, okay, there you go. That's a good position for the camera. Now, this will be connected at the inlet of your blower. So as the air gets sucked in from your uh, tank, and air, of course, at the same time, gets sucked in out of this chamber, if you notice inside, there is a hole. Inside of this chamber, of course, it is the same atmospheric pressure as inside of your tank, as outside the, the, the air that we breathe. So as the blower start working and creating negative pressure, it's gonna start sucking air out of the tank. At the same time, it's gonna start sucking air that's inside of this chamber through that hole, causing this piece to start closing. This, it all depends how much of a suction you're creating. This could move up to the point that one third of that hole is covered to the half and it could be under severe suction completely that hole gets covered. Now, at that moment, if you notice, there is enough opening here for the air to start entering, entering into your blower and start relieving some of the negative pressure that's gonna build up on your, um, on your, in, inside of your blower causing a stress on your belt and also a stress on your quadruplex if you have a direct drive. So to answer your question, is a great piece of part, is a great piece of device to relieve uh, negative pressure off your blower, but to me it is a very pricey type of uh, part to have because for um, almost 5% of the cost of one of these, you can simply build one, the simple, the, the one that we use in our truck mounts and does the same job. So again, just to sum it up, it's just a spring-loaded valve. As the air gets sucked out, air gets sucked out of that uh, hole and forces this uh, chamber to open up, which of course you can you notice the end of my uh, tool that's pushing it, allowing the air to go inside of the blower and relieve the blower. Thank you.